ki khubor ka bate si tv lawan rashafi da ka frank motors booking open for the new nexon visit frank motors or call 7045207973 MIT University of Meghalaya our admissions are now open for the academic year 2024-25 explore our best courses experience global collaborations apply today mr speaker sir uh, in the last 6 months the state as well as the nation as a whole has uh, lost many many great leaders from our own state sir we lost a very very senior a very experienced leader in the form of late sd kongwir who was the first deputy chief minister of meghalaya apart from late sd kongwir we had lost a leader late nihimson r sangma former member of the assembly from rongjing constituency though of course he died a long time back in 2021 during the covid but as i was informed that since we had not been we had not mentioned about it at that point and hence the assembly has brought this and it's a great honor and uh for us to be able to pay our respects to late nihimson r sangma sir we also lost from the state of maharashtra late baban rao dhanke dhakne who was the former union as well as a minister in the state government the state of karnataka lost its uh, former speaker in the form of late db chandra gowda we also lost late maheshwar mohanty who was also a former speaker of the odisha legislative assembly late ashutosh tandon a former minister in the uttar pradesh government late gurmeet singh kunar a former member of the rajasthan legislative assembly late n sankaraya a former member of the tamil nadu legislative assembly late ranjit singh talwandi a former mla of the punjab assembly late surajit tatta a former mla of the tripura legislative assembly late narayan narayanan vijayraj alagarwani a former member of the tamil nadu legislative assembly and late veena verma a former member of parliament from madhya pradesh who passed away on uh veena who passed away on 6th of february 2024 sir i take this moment to pay my respects to all these departed souls especially our our very own leader late sd kongwir as i had mentioned he was a five time mla a very very senior person and a person who had played many many roles in society in different positions in uh, different organizations i should say so. and uh, he also was the first deputy chief minister of the state from the year 
1978, March 1978 to February 1979, and then from May 1979 to 1983. So apart from uh, being uh, the Deputy Chief Minister, many people may not know that uh, late SD Kongwir had also worked at one point in time, way back in 1958, in the Ministry of Finance in the Union Government of India in Delhi. And in fact, from there, he came and he became the Assistant Revenue Officer in the Khasi Hills Autonomous District Council in 1960. And after that, with the support of his family, he joined politics and served for five consecutive terms uh, in the Assembly and for the state. And during that tenure, he had many, many posts and positions that he had held. He has contributed immensely in the different positions that he had. But apart from politics, uh, late S.D. Kongwir was, of course, a person who was very much connected to the community and to the society. In fact, a lot of people may not know that he served as the headman of Maulai Nonglum for a record 55 years. That's even more than the age of most of the MLAs or the average age of the MLAs uh, in this particular house. And this clearly reflected his commitment to the people and uh, more importantly his desire to serve the society in whatever capacity that he could. And this is a true uh, quality of a great leader. And therefore, uh, it is a great loss to the state. I was fortunate, Mr. Speaker, sir, to meet him a few months before he passed away. And we spent a uh, few moments together uh, talking about his entire experience and also his relationship with uh, my late father, late P.S. Sangma. So it was a very, very uh, precious moment for me. And I really am thankful that I got those few moments with him. Uh, and a few mo months later, uh, we got the news, sad news that he had passed away. And as I mentioned, sir, it's a great loss. But I'm sure the people of uh, his constituency, his family members, his locality, and all the people who have got a chance to, or who had the chance to work with him would also remember the great contributions that he had made. And though this is a very sad moment that he had left us, but uh, I'm sure that there will be very, very positive and happy memories of the different contributions that late S.D. Kongwir has made to his family, to his society, to his locality, and to the state as a whole. So um, I also would like to take this opportunity to uh, take this moment, I'm sorry, to also remember our other leaders. All of them have uh, contributed in many different ways. Uh, as I was mentioning, late Nihimsan, our Sangma, who had passed away on the 15th of November 2021. And as we are aware that uh, this was during the, uh, one of the phases of the COVID, and uh, as uh, the Assembly had secretariat at that point in time had missed out, the, we have uh, the Secretariat has included uh, his name uh, today, and uh, we are all here to pay our respects to him and also express our condolences to uh, the family. And like that, sir, the other leaders who have, we have lost from throughout the country, I take this moment, sir, to express our deepest condolences on behalf of, our, of the House to all the bereaved family members and I pray to Almighty that he may give all the family members the strength to bear the loss that they have had and also would pray to Almighty that the souls of the, the departed souls may rest in eternal peace. Sir. With these few words, sir, I resume my seat. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, I take this privilege to join the leader of the house and the LO in condoling the sad demise 
of this number of illustrious leaders who at different times and in their respective capacities have collectively contributed towards the peace, progress, and prosperity of our state and in their respective states and for the growth and prosperity of the nation as a whole. I would like to especially remember these two illustrious leaders from our own state, whom I have known very, very closely. Our let SD Kongwer, one of the stalwarts in Meghalaya politics, we have lost him. I had the privilege to know him as I was pursuing my studies in Shillong as a student. And subsequently, even as I joined politics in 1993. A leader who had been deeply connected to his roots. And a leader whom I have known as friend of all and enemy of none. So that is how I have seen led by S.D. Kongwer, a man who had the art of governance and the skill of articulating things. It was immense pleasure for all of us as I entered this August house in 1993. Uh, I really took pleasure in listening to them. They are the pioneers who set the trend for the very uh, decorum, dignity, and the proceeding and deliberations of this house at the highest order, they set the trend. They showed us the way. And therefore, remembering them uh, give me the visuals as to how skilled they were in their oration, how they were um, specific to the points, and how they enriched everyone who listened to them when they participated in this August House. I did learn many things from these leaders, and I, I feel that I still owe them to a great extent for whatever I am today. <clears throat> I remember him as a very active man who would still listen to the problems of all those who were part of this political system in the state. He would always be there in the premises of our assembly, along with the former ambulance. He decided to become a former ambulance by choice, after having completed the glorious and illustrious innings of 25 years of service to the state and the people of this state. He decided to call it a day in as far as active politics is concerned, after 25 years of great innings. It was by choice. And I still remember him celebrating that 25th year of glorious service to the people of the state and the state as a whole, when he completed his 25 years of these great innings as one of the members of this August House, and decided to continue to serve people in different capacities and remain available for all of us at any point of time. Even as he led many of our former MLS, we have this uh, former MLS association and how he had been always available for all of us. We miss him, his contribution all through these years in different capacities to really benefit the state and the people cannot be quantified. We will miss him. We continue to miss him. I also remember that Nihimson our Sangma, highly intelligent politician. I was doing my pre-university pre science in St. Anthony's College that time when he was elected. And so I was anxious to really know who were those new MLS, and he was one of them. And I looked at his 
academic background, not only from the perspective of the qualification that he had for himself before deciding to serve the people, but look at the gap after which he continued to pursue his master's degree after a gap of five years, after completing his graduation, after a gap of five years. I don't know how many of us will still continue to pursue our academic career if we have such a long gap after studies. And I think we uh, have missed the opportunity of getting a service of this highly capable man for a longer time. I wish it would have been benefited, beneficial for our people had he continued for a longer period of time in his innings as a politician, but of course our system of democracy uh, has its own way of uh, setting the fate for each one of us. So uh, he served as uh, MLA of Rongjin constituency just once, though, but then his services we remember, his contribution we remember. I remember he was serving also as the chairman of MGCC then, and uh, he contributed immensely to the younger generation because while he was an elected MLA, we were all students. And whenever we had an opportunity to meet him, he would at least ensure that we go back enlightened with many of his, I must say, very constructive and productive advices. May <coughs> the family uh, and all the loved ones of these two departed leaders receive all the blessings from the Almighty for all the services that they have given to the people of the state. Also, condole the sad demise of all other leaders. And I would like to conclude by observing that, yes, uh, we are sad that, uh, sad by the sad demise of these leaders, but as the Lord will come back, they will all rise after hearing his voice. And until then, may they all have. May the departed soul of all these leaders find and eternal peace. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. I also would like to join the Chief Minister, the Leader of the Opposition, and other honorable members of this August House to express my condolences to the bereaved family, families of those uh, leaders who, whom we have paid homage this afternoon. First of all, I pay my homage and respects to late S.D. Kongwir, uh, who passed away just recently. Though I had not, I did not have the opportunity of getting acquainted with him personally, but having read his uh, obituary, a person who has consecutively led his constituency for five consecutive terms and also served as headman, the Rangba Snow of Molai, of his uh, locality for a record 55 years, speaks volumes of his caliber and his stature and his, the leadership qualities. So I need not speak much, but I pay my respects and homage to this great soul and I offer my condolences also to their families. Late Nihimson R. Sangma, former MLA who passed away on 15th November, during the COVID pandemic time, there was no information of his passing away during that time. And so no obituary reference was paid for him in the house, uh, in, the, in our earlier sittings. So today, his name has been listed in this list of eminent political personalities who have passed away and pay respects and homage to his departed soul. We also convey the apologies, apologies of this house to the 
surviving members of his family for this late, um, delayed uh, obituary reference that we're making today. I also join this house to express my condolences to all the other uh, personalities uh, from the other parts of the country, late Baban Rao Dakne, former Union and State Minister of Maharashtra State, late D.B. Chandra Gauda, Karnataka MLA, former MLA from Karnataka Assembly, late Maheshwar Mohanti, former Speaker of Odisha Legislative Assembly, late Ashutosh Tandon, former UP Uttar Pradesh Minister, late Gurmit Singh Kunur, Kunar, former MLA from Rajasthan, late N. Sankaraya, former MLA from Tamil Nadu, late Ranjit Singh Talwandi, former MLA from Punjab, late Surajit Datta, former MLA from Tripura Legislative Assembly, late Narayan Vijaya Rajala Garswami, former MLA from Tamil Nadu, and late Vina Verma, former MP from Madhya Pradesh. Um, we, the condolences, condolences, the condolence messages shall be sent to the bereaving members of the family in a very short time. So now, as we pay respects to and homage to these departed souls, may I now request the, all the honourable members to rise and observe two minutes silence as a mark of respect to the departed souls.